Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about the scope of amine formation reactions with different uh, types of amine nucleophiles and different specific examples of, of ketones and aldehydes. So um, in the previous video, I presented the mechanism for the formation of amines, and I used an acid aldehyde and ammonia. Uh, but generally, this is a reaction that can occur with just about any aldehyde or ketone and it can work with ammonia so if we react cyclohexanone with ammonia we get cyclohexylamine yeah. um right. oh and let's put this over here actually let's give a subheading so ammonia if you want to compare the different types of nitrogen nucleophiles. And then, as I said in the previous video, I did an example with uh, acid aldehyde, simple aldehyde, but any aldehyde will do the same. Even form aldehyde can, do, can form amines. Now, if we're using primary amine, then we get uh, an amine that has uh, a carbon-nitrogen bond uh, on a nitrogen. So let's see, let's use, oh, I don't know, let's use benzaldehyde as an aldehyde. And let's use instead of uh, ammonia, let's use isopropylamine. And in this case, we get benzaldehyde isopropylamine. And in this case, as I mentioned in the previous video, that amines have stereochemistry. In this case, you might not be surprised that this stereoisomer predominates because of steric effects. Let's just, let's do a, a ketone, let's use 2-butanone, and uh, let's use ethylamine. And again, without spending a lot of time on stereochemistry, probably this uh, isomer is more likely because of, of steric reasons. Okay. Now, if you've been, you know, if you're watching what's going on, the other product of the reaction is water. And so two of the hydrogens, you know, for the net equation, two of the hydrogens from nitrogen and uh, two of the, and the oxygen from the carbonyl group become water. Something different happens with secondary amines. Oh, not a secondary mine, secondary amine. Uh, something different happens with secondary amines because secondary amines only have one NH bond. And I will be doing a, a whole additional video on uh, the behavior of secondary amines, but I just want to show some of the things that can happen here with the secondary amine like, oh, even as simple as dimethylamine, because there's only one hydrogen on the nitrogen, uh, as, this reaction, as this reaction proceeds, initially, you can't go any farther than this intermediate. There's no hydrogens to remove from the nitrogen. But what is in fact form isn't a carbon nitrogen double bond, but a carbon carbon double bond. And this thing is called an enamine. And another, I will be doing another video coming up on enamines after I talk about uh, the hydrolysis of enamines. But uh, enamines are a thing. 
You can also have interesting cyclic, you know, so uh, secondary means can be cyclic, so you can have other interesting things going on there. So you would normally think we'd get this carbon nitrogen double bond, but in fact, right, there's no there's only one hydrogen that can be removed, so you get this enamine uh then Now we get down to tertiary means. Uh, there are no NH bonds. So while tertiary means uh, can still be nucleophiles, uh, there are no NH bonds to remove. I'm only just going to do one really simple example because it's ultimately a moot point. Triethylamine hydrogen. Uh, ultimately, you can get to the nucleophilic addition step, but there's no hydrogens to remove, so you can't do the elimination step. Um, you just can't. And ultimately, this is a better leaving group than, than the, the OH, so it's going to go so essentially, because there are no hydrogen bonds, you can't, uh, there's no NH bonds. We generally say that tertiary amines don't react with aldehydes and ketones to make amines or enamines. So I can just leave this as no reaction with aldehydes or ketones, right? And then just to sum, uh, ammonia reacts with aldehydes and ketones to make Emines with one NH bond. Primary amines react with aldehydes and ketones to make amines with a nitrogen carbon bond. And these things have some stereochemistry, which can be interesting, but uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on in my videos. Secondary amines, because they only have one NH bond, can react with uh, aldehydes and ketones, but they make enamines instead. And, and how this happens is the, the uh, topic of an upcoming video. Uh, this can happen with both aldehydes and ketones, and then tertiary means uh, don't react with aldehydes and ketones, so they have no appreciable reaction. Thank you for watching.